Hey guys, in this MKBHD video, we're going to be taking a look at episode 2 of YouTube Tips, and yes, this episode is about graphics. So in this episode, I'll just be talking to you guys basically and giving you guys a few uh, imagery of uh, the following things that are pretty important to YouTube graphics. So pardon me if I look to the side, which is where my notes are. You're going to want to have a logo, a channel design or banner if you happen to be a YouTube partner, a video banner, which is above your video, your intro, which is actually a moving graphic, and as an added bonus, you can also have a watermark. Now, I actually have been changing around with my watermark a little bit, so I just kind of have like a, a temporary watermark that you guys can check out and leave feedback on. But you also might be interested in making all of these things uh, in the same sort of color scheme to make it easier to remember. So as you can probably already tell, all of my graphics are in some sort of form of red, black, and white. Uh, and the three colors combined happen to be my favorite colors, but those three colors together are pretty important to a consistent color scheme. Now, how exactly do you go about creating these images? Well, there are a number of ways that you can try, and a number of ways that you can let other people try. Uh, my intro was created using a template and using a tutorial from another YouTube user. I don't even remember where I got it, but it took me a couple days to actually put together, and it's only five seconds long. If you want to hold an intro contest to let other people who are already watching your videos actually try to make an intro for you, you can, or use other people's tutorials to do so. With still graphics like your channel design, your video banner, or your watermark, I really suggest getting getting to know GIMP. GIMP is one of my favorite pieces of software. It's free, it's an alternative to Photoshop CS5, and it's almost as powerful. It's a very, very powerful piece of software. So if you get to know GIMP, and I think you'll, you'll find that that's one of my favorite pieces of software and could be one of yours, uh, you can make some really nice graphics. Now my channel banner and background were both made with Photoshop. However, my video banner, my watermark, and all the other still graphics on my channel were made with GIMP. So that goes to show you that it can be pretty powerful. So overall, in my opinion, it might not seem like a big deal to you, but I think that when you're just starting out or when you're actually building your brand, it can be a really good idea to establish a really solid color scheme that people can remember you by, whether it's a blue and white or red and black or some orange and black or something crazy. But honestly, it's up to you and you can, I, like I suggested, uh, try to get to use GIMP and watch some GIMP tutorials. There are some really great users out there. I'll probably try to link a few up right here. Uh, that can help you out a lot with GIMP if you message them or just watch their videos. Uh, so this has been MKBHD with a quick episode, episode 2 of getting your YouTube videos together more professionally and this has been on graphics. Stay tuned for episode 3 which should be coming up. I'll probably be making these videos once every week or so, maybe a week and a half or two weeks. They're kind of difficult to make, you'd be surprised. Either way, see you next time. MKBHD, signing out. Peace.